Gulf lead. We're watching the impact of the nor'easter that continues to sit off our coast. As storms batter Boston, things are blessedly peaceful in Pulpit Harbor, but winds can change quickly. So Captain Barnes prepares to take us back to the mainland. As we rally to raise anchor, a familiar face is raising the sails. Longtime Tabor guest, Mike O'Brien. This is my 22nd trip. 22 trips across two generations of Barnes captains. O'Brien knows this boat like the back of his hand, which is helpful considering he has been blind since birth. I like being out on the water. I like boats. I like the food and the, the people and the atmosphere. It is just a different and a more peaceful way, way of traveling. O'Brien is a testament to the fact that this experience is about a lot more than the views. There is a rhythm here that over time you can feel. I'm John Romer. I'm a filmmaker and photographer. I've been coming up to the main islands for about three decades at this point. In his cinematic short film, Morning Cycle, Romer captures the spirit of this region without a single word. Many filmmakers like to say how they've traveled the world. I'm almost the opposite. I really enjoy getting to know that area of the country intimately. Areas like Stonington and Deer Isle, where we find Melissa Raftery and native Megan Wood of 44 North Coffee. 44 North Coffee is locally roasted organic fair trade beans, open year round on a small island off the coast of Maine. Originally our intention was to, to be coffee roasters and we quickly realized that Deer Isle can be a dark place in December. So there is um, a, big, a big need for a connection, a place to, to have connection and it was very apparent to us that we could offer that. When you're traveling on a 148-year-old sailing vessel with no engine, you are subject to the vagaries of wind and tide. There's no set itinerary on this trip, and tonight, the winds have blown us into Rockport, Maine. Rockport Harbor is home to a fleet of yachts, lobster boats, and day sailors. But no matter the size or age of the hull, when you need an overhaul, there's Rockport Marine. So we're a shop of about uh, 45 to 50 guys. Busy season is the winter time. We store and maintain a lot of traditional wooden boats and we're also building new boats. Our largest project was the Spirit of Bermuda. How much work goes into building or repairing a wooden boat? Give me some sense of that. So we're about 90,000 man hours a year, which is about one working lifetime. Which is <laughs> sort of an interesting way to think of it. Sailing is a legacy that families pass on which helps keep this business afloat. Fortunately, enough people are still able to take the time to cruise a boat. We return to the Stephen Tabor and cannons blast to signal one final lowering of the flags. As the sun sets on Rockport Harbor and the Tabor season, we share a final meal and a very special performance. I feel like we're in the business of reminding people of what's important in life, which is kind of cool. Feels good. And that music that opened and closed the show was performed by the Barnes family. Yeah, their singing, their wow. stories, their jokes have really become a part of the Stephen Tabor experience. That last night there you saw was like a variety show they put on. <laughs> it's really tremendous. Noah's son, Oscar, was there as well. So the whole family, generationally, very talented mm -hmm. in many different ways. It was a great, great, great experience. And a great show at that. Thank you. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a good one. We'll see you right back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night.